Honourable Member Hampton Ellerslie, followed by Calgary Buffalo. Thank you very much. Mr. Speaker, science has well documented the harmful consequences of tobacco use. Campaigns to dissuade tobacco use are persuasive, and yet tobacco use remains strong, with 17 per cent of Canadians reporting they are currently smoking. My questions are to the Associate Minister of Wellness. What tobacco reduction initiatives are currently underway in Alberta, and how do you decide what tactics to use? Honourable Minister. Well, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. And the Honourable Member sadly is correct. In Canada, tobacco is the leading cause of preventable disease and death. In Alberta, we've created a multifaceted approach to, to fight exactly that. The strategy features three priority legislative initiatives. Restricting the sale of, of flavoured tobacco, prohibiting tobacco sales to minors, and protecting children from secondhand smoke in vehicles. We will ensure that the legislation will be well thought out and it will be enforceable. There are several other initiatives focused on discouraging Albertans to, from starting to smoke in the first place, as well as helping, to the, uh, helping them to quit. Honourable Member. Thank you very much. Mr. Speaker, my second question to the same Minister. Uh, Mr. Minister, in these tough economic times, how much is this strategy costing the taxpayers of Alberta? Fair question, Mr. Speaker. I consider that we should uh, think about the price of not implementing tobacco reduction initiatives because uh, not only will they cost taxpayers more in the long run, it also puts a huge strain on the health care system and the quality of life for all Albertans. Tobacco contributes not only to heart disease but also several forms of cancer, resulting in approximately 3,000 deaths each year in Alberta alone. Mr. Speaker, those numbers are staggering. They are unacceptable. To facilitate the implementation, uh, implementation of the strategy, the Department will spend $500,000 this year, and there are additional funds available as well as a AHS. Honourable Member. Thank you very much. My final question to the same Minister. Are we seeing real returns on our investment? And what really is the end goal strategy, uh, Mr. Minister? Honourable Member. Thank you again to the Honourable Member. We need to measure progress. It, it's crucial. We do have ambitious uh, performance targets, I, I want everyone to know. For Albertans 15 and older, we're looking to decrease from 19 to 12 percent. For those 12 to 19, it's 13 to 6 percent. And Albertans 20 to 24, 30 to 20 percent. For pregnant women, 17 down to 11. Let's face it, until it gets closer to zero, none of us will be uh, truly satisfied. There are many other key performance targets, uh, and one of them being Estimated uh, per capita per uh, tobacco sales, we want it to be decreased, chopped in half, as a matter of fact. We're confident that we will reduce tobacco use and give knowledge that, uh, to Albertans and the tools and the incentives so that they can agree, uh, uh, sorry, enjoy a much greater degree of wellness. Thank you.